Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Seppi. Um, in today's video, I thought I'd film a little luxury haul for you guys. I haven't done one of these in ages just because I usually use the stuff like that I buy quite soon after um, and I like forget to film it and I just thought I'd do something a bit different on the channel. So I've got a few bits and bobs um, that I thought I'd show you guys and yeah so if you want to see what I've bought then please keep watching the first item in this haul is a dress from self portrait um, so this dress is so beautiful it's like um it's a bandeau dress and this part of it is sheer and it's got such nice detailing I can't even explain to you guys there's a chain going around the waist and the sides are kind of sheer with the flowy sides and then there's these gold buttons and oh, just such different uh, colored like gold tone fabric and it is a stunning dress. I absolutely love this. The only problem is it was the last one on the website in a size zero. And don't get me wrong, I'm so aware I'm not a size zero, but sometimes these designer labels, um, their sizes don't quite match up to what it says on the label. Usually, like not usually, but sometimes with these brands. So I thought, you know what, I'll just buy it and if it fits, then it fits. But unfortunately, I have a small waist, but my bust is a bit bigger and it just would not tie around my bust or my bottom so um, I'm gonna have to give this back and try and find it in store in my size but it's so beautiful I thought that I'd show it to you guys anyway um, and I was gonna wear this to my sister's graduation I think it's the perfect gown um, for like an event I would try it on and show you guys but unfortunately it's not gonna fit me um, yeah I think it's the perfect dress for like maybe a wedding or a bar mitzvah, a christening, anything like kind of a big occasion, this is definitely good. Self-portrait dresses retail for I think around like 300 to 500 pounds, so um, if you're looking for like a high-end dress, maybe not in the thousands, but something that's going to be really special for a good occasion, I really recommend self-portrait, and this dress was just beautiful. It came up to about my knees, by the way. So the next item I got is a pair of shoes. When I saw these on the website, I thought that they're not exactly for this season, but they're perfect for autumn time um, when I kind of want to transition to uh, wearing like jeans and heels. Um, I thought that these were the perfect pair of shoes and it is these um, Philip Lim. That's like a tag thing for it. It's like these Philip Lim what are they called? Like they're like heel sandals, they're suede. Um, they are like a beautiful brown color. I'm gonna take the other one out of the box. It's kind of, it's kind of messed up from being in the box, but it'll flatten soon. But um, they're these beautiful heel sandals. I absolutely love them, I think they're gorgeous. I really need to let this one rest in the air because it's kind of been, the sides are kind of sticking out from being in the box but I think that they're so divine I think that these will look good either with a maxi um, skirt and this and then just like a shirt over it or if you wear it with jeans and these heels and any kind of top I think this will go especially a shirt and I feel like this is something that you could wear even to work if you wanted to um, it's kind of like versatile you can have it in the evening or you can wear it like I said casually or you can wear it to work so I think it's a good pair but it is suede so I definitely would put some sort of suede protector onto it but I just thought that for autumn come autumn time this would be the perfect pair of heels so I wouldn't really pull them out this summer season but for autumn I thought that it would be perfect and this is from Philip Lim. I got these in the size 4. I feel like they are true to size. Um, when I've walked on them, I've just worn them on the carpet. I haven't worn them out yet. But they, they come up high enough so that they, your foot doesn't slip out of it. Um, so I think it'll be comfortable for walking around. And that's why I said it'll probably be okay to wear to work as well. Um, but yeah, just be careful of the fabric. that like You won't probably be able to wear this in rain unless you put really good suede protector onto it but they seem super comfortable and the front isn't too tight like it's wide enough for you to 
feel comfortable slipping your foot in. For those of you who have wider feet, I personally have narrow feet, but they were still comfortable. So the last item in this haul is um, actually something I got a while back for my birthday. It was a gift. Um, and it is a pair of Christian Louboutin heels. I actually got another pair of Louboutins after this, but I've worn them, so there's no point showing them in the haul. But these ones I've never worn, so I thought I'd show you guys because I think they still, um, they're still selling them in the Louboutin store, so you should be able to get a hold of it. Um, this was gifted to me for my birthday. And they are so gorgeous. I have to say, I think I have about eight pairs think of Louboutins now um, and m six of them are a size four one of them I got as a gift last year um, and it's a four and a half and it's the like the material that's like I don't want to say like you know the one that it's not leather I forgot what the word is but you guys know what I want about the material um, one um, but those ones they're the only ones I have in a four and a half and then now this um, originally uh, when was given to me was in a size um, four but when I went to the store um, I tried them on in a three and a half and they fit better so I've taken a risk considering I haven't worn them yet so I can't get back to you on it but I've got other these are Pigal Folies and I've got other Pigal Folies and um, they're all in fours and this is my only one in a three and a half but is this just not the perfect Cinderella shoe like I'm completely obsessed with this let me show you the other pair as well like I said I've got other pig alpha leaves and those are in a size four um but I guess like they do in the back some of them do feel a bit big um so I think maybe a three and a half was okay to go with this but I'm gonna have to get back to you guys in the future so if any of you guys have any questions about the sizing of this shoe ask me about it in the future but I'm usually a four and these are three and a half unless my feet are shrinking which would be weird but are these just not the most divine pair of Louboutins you have seen <laughs> I love them I feel like these are a Cinderella pair of shoes and because of that I think that's why I haven't had a chance to wear them yet because I feel like I'd need such an important occasion um, to wear it but the detail on it is just beautiful. I think that you could probably wear this to, if you're getting engaged or married, you could probably wear this um, for a party. Again, any sort of celebration, I think that this would make your outfit pop. Like you could be wearing a plain black dress and these heels and you know, everyone will be looking at your feet. So if you want something, an outfit where your outfit simple but you want the shoes to kind of jazz them up these are definitely the shoes for you they're called the pigal Foley's 100 a glitter so they are so stunning and i love them and they're probably one of not my favorite but one of my favorite louboutins that i own definitely like in the top three um so i absolutely adore them so that is the end of this little luxury haul if you guys liked this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up so i know to film more hauls like this um i probably should have done the disclaimer at the start i don't know why i'm doing it at the end but obviously this none of this was to show off in any way um i just find it fun to watch other videos like this and i love seeing what other people have bought and it inspires me for my shopping trips or for gifts or everything so that's why I thought I'd share it with you guys and yeah I hope no one took offense by it if you like my videos then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below and hit the bell button I try and post videos at least once a week but I'm gonna try and up that if you guys are interested <laughs> um, so yeah definitely follow so that you can keep up. My socials, my Instagram will be linked down below, but it's Persian Bunny. My Twitter is the Persian Bunny, and my Snapchat is Steffi Samoy. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.